already in the Halifax half, Bradford. Flanagan finds pattern, short ball to Baldwinson. Looked a forward pass, but nothing given by the referee. The ball's goal left, that looks forward again. As they go out the back through Holmes, Holmes finds Gill, and that's definitely a forward pass to Foggy Johnston. And after what looked like three consecutive forward passes, the referee finally gives one. And there was no doubt in that one. And Halifax off the hook there, inching towards those posts. Here's Lawrence, finds Apo on the angle. Kevin Apo winding over the run, but great defence there from Leroy and Murray. Bradford close to that line, here's Lilly. Short ball to Arundel and Joe Arundel walks through some really lackluster defence to score against his former club. Taking his time, strikes the ball really well, it's straight through the post. The flags are up to signify Bradford pushing out the lead to six points to nil. The crowd hushed in anticipation. Here's Lilly, dummies, tackled by a cow cover, and he gets the ball out. Here's Patton. Dummies, but Matty G sticks to him like glue, helped out by Murray and then by Jufre. Putting down, but it's going to be a penalty to Bradford. I think possibly for a late tackle. And you would think that Bradford will take the two on offer here. Strikes it through the posts. Patterns two from two. And Bradford lead 8 0. And finally, Ifax inside, the Bradford 20, O'Brien jumps out, dummy half, finds Kyle Wood, short ball to Ryan Lannan, Ryan Lannan just put down short of the line. Here's O'Brien, finds Wood Bernal, steps inside, high tackle from Bradford and he's given by Grant. And Ifax will get another set of six on this Bradford line. Wood finds Lannan and Lannan runs at Apo. Three Bradford men on him, they can't put him down, they just stop his momentum. Gets to play the ball, O'Brien finds Jufre, men outside away for Halifax and Batty G is over the line and Batty G scored! Brilliant play from the Panthers! And Matty G scores his third try of the season. It's not commentator's curse this time, it's a commentator's blessing. The old Legend of Rugby penalty, penalty try and that's exactly what's happened. Ryan Lannan, a trap to low defending in the centre field. Halifax found space on the right. Jufre found Matty G, who twisted the tackle, reached out and plumped the ball down. He strikes it high. He's through the post. The flags are up. He does make it 19 goals. As the boot of Louis Jufre gets Halifax right back in this game. Only two points in it now. Bradford Bulls eight, Halifax Panthers six. Less than ten out. Here's Jufre, runs across the line. Short ball to Lannan. Once more, the Bradford fans call for a forward pass. Less than ten out, Halifax. O'Brien goes centre field and finds Tangata. Tangata finds Will Burn All. On to Ben Crooks, who somehow manages to hold onto the ball. Last tackle here for Fax. Wood burn all. Lovely ball to Sortenstall. That's fantastic. That's a brilliant offload, I think, from Matty G. What a try from Fax. And the Panthers hit the front with three minutes to go here. They took the gamble on the short side. What a try. I think it was Matty G who managed to flip the ball out the back. And James Saltonstall strolled in at the corner. What a try for the Panthers at the perfect time, just before half time. And Saltonstall gets his 11th try of the season. He strikes it high, he goes through the post, the flags are up. Two frees, two from two. And Ifax going to a 12 points to eight lead. 90 seconds from half time and they've turned it round 8-0 down after a quarter of an hour the Panthers have roared back into a 12-8 lead O'Brien goes back centre field and finds Lannan spins in the tackle 
Looking for a possible offload, Ryan Lannan, but makes some really good yards after contact. Last sack clear for the Panthers. O'Brien goes blind to Jufre and Jufre puts it high, looking for Crooks to chase and Crooks pass it back to Mai G and Mai G got himself. Nearly a try for Ifax straight away. And the skills of Ben Crooks from a high ball are already coming into fruition for Ifax. But they turn the ball over five yards from the Bradford line. As Bradford this time struggling to get out of any yardage as Patton kicks early on the tackle count, looking for a 40 20. Salton Stall tops with his foot. Passes it to Woodburn Hall. They go centre field looking for any broken field ruts. Woodburn Hall. That's a great tackle there by Brad England. As Bradford turn. And Bradford and Salton Stall's away. Salton Stall breaking the tackle onto Woodburn Hall. Woodburn Hall still going. He's still going, Woodburn Hall. Pushes off the challenge of Lillian Ifax in the blink of an eye. Find themselves attacking Bradford's 20. O'Brien jumps out from dummy half, finds Wood on Tangata, Tangata. Tackled by Butler. And Dick Patton. And Halifax have bags of tackles in Bradford's danger area here. Here's Wood on to Lannan. Busts off a tackle. Great tackle there by Rogers. O'Brien goes blind. Finds Kavanagh once more. The Bradford fans call for a forward pass that isn't there. Last tackle here for Fax. O'Brien goes from dummy half, kicks it to himself. Ooh, nearly works out for him. But Halifax once more turned the ball over in a great position. Right on Bradford's line. Seguiara jumps out from dummy half, finds Lawrence. Dummies. Great tackle down low by O'Brien once more. Last tackle here for the Bulls. Seguiaro goes short to Fenton Rogers and Fenton Rogers powers his way over the line for the try that Bradford desperately needed to come back into this game. And Bradford strike back. Two really soft tries from an IFAT's perspective as Patton boots the ball through the posts to regain the lead for the Bulls. Seguiaro waits at dummy half. He finds Michael Lawrence. Wood rushes out and tackles Lily, but Lily gets the offload to Lawrence, hands it off to Brad England. And Brad England rushes through some soft defence, but it was for a reason as he ran behind his own man. And the penalty is given for obstruction, quite rightly. Here's Patton once more. Short ball to Fenton Rogers. He gets it back off Rogers. Onto Seguiaro. Bradford just back on a standstill. Seguiaro runs onto Lily. Lily sounds by Jufre. He throws it down. Adam Sangata jumps on the loose ball. And once more, Ifax escape. Here's Ben Tibbs. Finds Walmsley. Broken field here for Lachlan Walmsley. He goes on the outside. He's outpaced Ben Blackmore. Walmsley inside to Woodburn Hall. Woodburn Hall. Brilliant chase back from Michael Lawrence. The veteran going back and Halifax have got men out on this right hand side. Moore finds Jufre. Jufre runs to the line. Great tackle there from Patton but Jufre open quickly. Brandon Moore out from dummy half. Onto O'Brien. Moore Brian dummies this time. Looks to be a high tackle but not given by Tom Grant. Tackles in the bag here for Halifax. Jufre short ball to Woodburn Hall. And Woodburn Hall drops the ball with the line begging. Big opportunity missed there for the Panthers. End to end stuff here at Odsall. O'Brien finds it out to Wood. Ball on the inside, goes to Jufre. Back out of the battle with Burn on to Ben Crooks. Ben Crooks with the half break. Put down by Foggin Johnston. Matty G, last tackle here for Life Fast. On to Jufre. Jufre plays down. Louis Jufre is away. And Louis Jufre, just like he did at Good Friday last year, powers over the line. On that right hand side, the referee's not given the try yet. Yeah, he has now! And Louis Jufre scores a vital try for the Panthers. Just coming up to the final quarter. After 18 minutes of the second half, Louis Jufre regains the lead for his Halifax Panthers side. 
scoring his fourth try of the season. Doing what he's good at, playing with his head up, running with the ball. He saw that the Bradford defence on this near side was stretched and tired. And he went straight through. Going through his routine. Jufre kicks it well, straight through the posts. What a kick from Louis Jufre, who gives a smile to the crowd that was taking the mick out of his kick preparation. And Jufre nails his third kick from 33 attempts to push the score out to Bradford Bulls 14, Ifast Panthers 18. 21 minutes to go here at Oslo Stadium. Massive last quarter here on Derby Day. Five metres into the Bradford half. Here's Wood. On to Jufre. Jufre short ball to Matty G. Once more, the Bradford fans call forward, but nothing wrong with that. Here's Adam O'Brien. Shakes right and goes left. Finds McComb. McComb. Neil puts his nose through. Looking for a quick play of the ball. There's no markers there. And Adam O'Brien takes advantage. Finds Kyle Wood. And Kyle Wood will chip towards the corner. Lachlan Wolves. He clears it. Lachlan Wolves is away. He's in the corner. And Lachlan Wolves. He scores. To the delight of those fans behind the post. And Lachlan Worsley scores his 25th try of the season. And with 15 minutes to go here, Halifax pull out into a further lead here. And could that be the try that wins the game for the Panthers? After 65 minutes, from a lovely death crossfield kick from Kyle Wood. Warns the claim that some Bradford fans are going home early already. They've seen enough. Gil waits at dummy half. Finds Patton onto Bolwinson. Bolwinson finds Seguiaro. Short ball there. And Bradford are in with Brad England and Bradford strike back. Bradford fans are still leaving, but they're still not done yet. As Patton wasting no time with this conversion attempt. He converts with ease. And into the last 10. Patton kicks his fourth goal of the game. With eight and a half minutes to go. It's Bradford 20. Halifax 22. Here's Leroy. Leroy goes direct. Good yards there from the Frenchman. Really good run from Kevin Leroy. Last tackle here for Fax. O'Brien finds Jufre and Jufre will put it high. Trying to force a mistake from Lily. Stolten Stoll chasing. And Lily does make the mistake. And that's exactly what they were looking for. And the chase of James Stolten Stoll putting pressure on Jordan Lily, not accustomed to the full back role, gives Halifax a brilliant opportunity to put this game to bed. Halifax don't necessarily need to force anything, but they want to put this ball to bed. Here's McComb. Runs across field. Steps in looking for the gap. Gets an offload to Ben Kavanagh. Ben Kavanagh. Fantastic tackle there from Seguiaro. Halifax going backwards here, and Kavanagh, O'Brien goes blind. Great tackle there, and he's still going. Last tackle here for Fax. Wormsley goes himself, goes it through. And Halifax still kicked through. And Bradford, no one wants to dive on it. And eventually Bradford do dive on it. Halifax turned the ball less than five metres out for the Bradford line. As I said before, they don't need to force anything. Coming up to 90 seconds to go here. Still Bradford 20, Halifax 22. Bradford fans and players calling for the penalty and nothing given. Blackmore met well by three fast defenders, 15 metres out from his own line. Flanagan spins it out to Patton. Patton goes himself. Brilliant tackle there from Matty G and Drew Frey. Ju Lily waits at dummy half, finds Yvonne Skur and Skur. Well tackled there by Drew Frey and McComb. He's still going. He's still moving in the tackle, he's scared. Eventually he's stopped. Last tackle here for the Bulls. Flanagan onto Patton. Finds Seguiaro. Seguiaro goes wide and finds a rundle. A rundle goes himself, brings on Blackmore. Onto Lily. Lily passes it down to Seguiaro. Seguiaro chips over the top. Onto Woodburn Hall. And Bradford get a penalty at the last. For a late tackle there. And Bradford have the opportunity to level this game up with a penalty. 25 metres out 
10 metres in from touch. Patton kicks it. And it goes through. The flags are up. And Patton's fifth goal of the game levels this game up. Bradford 22, Ifax 22. Less than a minute to go. Will they go for the short kickoff and try and win this game, or will they just go dead? And take, will they go deep, sorry, and just take this point? They go de deep, they grubber it through, and they didn't get the ball from the dropout, they do. What a kickoff from Louis Jufre. 15 seconds to go. And Ifax gonna get a kick off, a dropout here. Are we gonna see yet drama here at Hudson Stadium? And Ifax surely just gotta go for the drop goal as soon as they get it. And they go towards touch. And Bradford Bulls fans celebrate a draw. Who'd have thought it? Celebrating a draw against Stalifax. Well, it just shows how things have changed here. But what a game here at Odstall Stadium. Back and forth. But tr tr tries. Four tries from Ifax through Matty G, James Saltonstall, Louis Jufre, and Lachlan Warnsley. In vain. They outscored Bradford. Four tries to three. But Dick Patton's boot means that honours even here at Odstall Stadium. The final score here. In the Betfred Championship Round 15 clash, Bradford Bulls 22, Halifax Panthers 22.